Hi guys, I am Piyush Agarwal, an advanced RPA developer. And today, uh, like first of all, welcome to my channel. And today in this video, I will share it how you can allow anyone from your, any of your, it could be your friend, your colleague, to use your own created UiPath app without even having UiPath installed in the system or their assistant connected to the orchestrator or anything. They can just go to the link provided by you and they would be able to access that app, use it. And the bot will work on your system or any remote system wherever you want. Isn't that interesting? So first, let me show you, like this is the app that we will be using for this demonstration. Now, like, this is a mailing uh, app which can be used. So for example, in the two, if I write uh, my email address, Yush Agarwan dot zero one zero eight. Now from the email from which I want to send this. So like Yush service at the rate rocking.com. Anything that's just fake. Okay. Now this is testing for the demo and a mail body. Hi Piyush. Hope you get this done and yeah do not forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel okay so let's click on send so the bot has uh, the ui part demo is sending the mail and if i check this at my assistant the bot has started to process. Now the bot has completed its work. The mail has been sent with a success message over here. And if I just show you my email, so I have received the mail. So hi Piyush. So this is from this email ID. Okay. Now let me show you. The content is exactly same and we have done but now i want this to be used by my another friend or basically my different email id so right now this email id that i'm using is piyushagarwal.0108 now let's say i want to use my different account so i will go to or basically i will just uh, go over here click on copy url and let's open it in incognito So first of all, it will ask me to log in with some account. So, okay, continue with Google. And uh, I will use my different account. There is some delay. Okay, so signing in done. It says error. I am unable to access the app. So that means that this app is published but my another user cannot access it. He has no access to it, cannot use it. And that's where UiPath apps comes. What is this video for? So I will give access permissions to all to this user so that he can also leverage this app. So for that, it's going to be a long process. So do follow me around and keep uh, checking. So first of all, let's go to admin. Over here, we will go to users and groups and create a new group. We can directly add one person also, but we are going with a group so that we uh, in future, you just need to add that person to that particular group only. Okay, so I will create a group, like let's name it UiPath apps. Okay, and right now I'm not creating any group member. Just add with this a new group can be seen over here. Now I need to create a role for this group. So for that, let's go to our orchestrator. 
so uh, while uh, it's opening so group is basically a bunch of people with same roles or same permission okay now over here let's go to tenant and click on role roles defines what kind of permission a particular person would have so like uh, over here we already have few roles defined like tenant administrator which is like me and some other uh, roles are there also administrator so we are also creating a new role so like role name would be ui path apps user okay it says to avoid including both tenant and folder permissions because that is a kind of like a, because in future if you will just give both the permissions of all or not even both all the permissions then it would be same as a administrator and it could be problematic okay so what we are going to do we need just two permissions from one from each okay so one we need web hooks and in this only view permission like the user should have a view web hooks permission and from folder jobs creating permission click on review warning and create okay so this is the role that we want to assign now we go to default and then settings now over here we will add a new group so our group name was ui path apps let's select it and assign now we have given the access to our folder to this ui path apps a group okay now we need to assign a role to it so for that go to again back to tenant users and over here click on edit and over here just select the group that we have created just now so that is ui path app users and update cool so we have added the role the user and given him the permission now our work with the orchestrator is done so we go back to our cloud now what we need to do uh, like i need to uh, give access to my friend so i will add him to that particular group we go to users and groups click on invite users and over here i will write my different email id saturate gmail.com press enter select the group everyone will be selected by default and invite so with this i have send an invite to my email so let's check we go over here okay like over here so i will access it in the incognito <clears throat> let's click on accept invite so when a user clicks on accept invite ui path will ask him to create an account so this account will be for that particular organization he or she is joining so i will just create this and let's name it pycad mm automations continue mm. so with this a new account has been created for this user and you see the over here the services orchestrator it's completely same as my own uh platform my own cloud uh, terminal and it's now listing pycad automations with the group ui path app now the best one thing to understand about the roles that we have provided that this user has no access to many things like if i click on data service it should not have any access mm, you see you don't have permission let's say processes Cool. So 
uh, one last thing, orchestrator. Will this user be able to access the orchestrator same as me or change the any kind of settings? Definitely no, because he has just permission for a web hook and to create a job. And that is also not directly. So everything is access denied to him. He can only go and for this web hook. Here also, these are disabled just for a view purpose. Okay, so going back to automation cloud, but still, if doesn't mean that user has access to your app. You have given him some permissions. You have brought him to your organization, your cloud. Now it's time to give him access to your app also. Okay, so oh, it has the app with the play permission. Let me show why. So over here, that is test app, the old one, as I had already given him the permission in the share. If you show here, the email is already listed. Okay, because I am the ad, but right now the mailing app is not visible in that particular uh, cloud. So for this, I will go over here, click on share. Now, this toggle button refers that everyone in the organization get access to this app. So just use it if uh, there's only one app or if you really want that particular application app to be used by everyone else just click on add user now i will just search the name of the person i want to add that is spiker automations and there are two roles co-author and user can run co-author will give the access to edit the bot and run it which i don't want i want him to just be able to run the bot so click on add and now uh, i will click publish so by click, clicking on publish i am saving the settings and now app is ready now if we go back and refresh this user will have access to this particular app now the mailing app is visible if i click on play now you see over here the same thing i will add some different id like use dot something decon 173 at rate you dot in from and gmail.com UI path apps access to anyone to like share subscribe Oh, I forgot the mistake. Come in and come in to my channel. And for any new thing you might want to learn, just mention or contact me at. Now send. So this bot will also use the same UI path assistant. The stop is starting, the mail is being sent, and it's done. You can see in the preference, I had not changed the assistant, and in the orchestrating, this is connected to same orchestrate. Which one is um, this one? Okay. So by this way, single orchestrator is being used by multiple users for and using the same app. Now let's check if I have received the mail. So over here, you have got access to anyone. I just received the mail from the email ID. And that's it for the process uh, for the demo. Now you can just uh, give this uh, once the user is added. You can give access to your URL to anyone. And uh, okay, one more thing. Like, do we need to repeat this process again and again and again for different users? For any, if I want to add one more user to this, definitely no. We did all this work to create a group for the same purpose, for this single purpose. So that in future, if I want to add one more user, what will I do? I will just go to users in groups, invite a new user, 
let's say u dot 17 beacon 173 at the rate jprc u dot edu dot in or let's say i will just add my friend 2305 add it to UI path apps groups and invite and that's it now once my friend Pratiksha accepts the invitation she would be able to access the app directly I would just need to add her uh, go back to app and give access to her as well like over here we will go to share the permission work is done now just give access through this so I will just say add now with this as long as she accepts the invitation she would be able to access it by just the url of the publish okay so that's it guys if you like my video do like share and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments if you uh, want something any kind of anything you want to learn and uh, you can contact me anytime my, on my linkedin or through my gmail you must have seen see you guys see you in the next video tada